Have you ever wondered how a society can be upended overnight, its cultural heritage wiped out, and its religious practices suppressed? Today, we journey back to the mid-20th century, to one of the most tumultuous periods in history, the Cultural Revolution in Tibet. In the year 1966, Mao Zedong, the then leader of the People's Republic of China, launched the Cultural Revolution. This socio-political movement aimed at enforcing communism by removing capitalist, traditional and cultural elements from Chinese society. However, its effects were felt far beyond China's heartland, reaching the mountainous region of Tibet. Prior to the Cultural Revolution, Tibet was a region steeped in religious practices centered around Tibetan Buddhism and had a rich cultural heritage. However, this was soon to change. In the first wave of the Cultural Revolution, Red Guards, primarily made up of zealous young students, descended upon Tibet, bringing with them a storm of political upheaval and repression. Throughout the late 60s and early 70s, the Red Guards systematically dismantled Tibet's cultural heritage. Monasteries, temples and other symbols of Tibetan Buddhism were destroyed or repurposed for secular use. Sacred scriptures were burned and religious artifacts seized. The goal was clear, to eradicate any trace of religion from Tibet. But the destruction was not limited to physical structures. The Cultural Revolution sought to suppress religious practices and beliefs as well. Monks and nuns were forced to disrobe and return to secular life. Religious teachings were forbidden, and those found practicing in secret were severely punished. By the mid-70s, the Cultural Revolution had left an indelible mark on Tibet. The once vibrant region was now a shadow of its former self, its cultural heritage in ruins and its religious practices suppressed. However, the end of the Cultural Revolution in 1976 did not signal an immediate return to normalcy for Tibet. The damage done was extensive and the healing process slow. It took decades for the Tibetan people to rebuild their monasteries, revive their religious practices and restore their cultural heritage. In conclusion, the Cultural Revolution in Tibet was a decade-long period of socio-political upheaval and repression. It led to the destruction of Tibet's cultural heritage and the suppression of its religious practices. This tumultuous period in Tibet's history serves as a stark reminder of the devastating effects of political extremism and the resilience of a people determined to preserve their culture and beliefs. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you found this content enlightening, please give us a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights into history. Remember, history isn't just about the past. It's about understanding the world we live in today. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep asking questions.